I think the main thing that people coming to Yorkshire will find is a great variety of golf courses. You've got everything from Heathland, Parkland, Moorland, and of course on the East Coast you've got all the Lynx courses. So variety is the spice of Yorkshire, if you like, and I think it will suit. Uh, so there's something there to suit every pocket. So I've thought about this long and hard over the years, uh, which my favourite course is, but I'd have to go with Ganton. Um, I have a close affiliation with Moortown and I like Old Woodley, Lindrick, uh, several courses around. Moore Allerton I've been alongside for many years, but Ganton has to stand out for me. Uh, it's got everything that a golfer would want, uh, but what a mag magnificent course it really is. It's, it's pure golf and having won the Yorkshire Amateur Championship there back many many moons ago um, it holds a very special place. It's so difficult to pick out one or two favourite holes. One that stands out to me is Old Woodley and I'm pretty sure it's the 10th, a par 5 um, and it was designed by Alistair McKenzie and he actually tried to design the same hole at Augusta National and it's the 13th. We've seen the 13th now many times over the years on TV. Um, it's one of the most iconic par fives, a risk and reward hole. And if anybody has the chance to play Old Woodley, the 10th hole, that's virtually a carbon copy. That's what he started out with, that was his base. I've been very fortunate to play on home ground in Yorkshire at many European Tour events. Uh, Fulford stands out as one of the best events that always had the razzmatazz. Uh, we played the Carcare at Moortown, Sandmore and Moor Allerton and even played the Lawrence Batley at Bingley St Ives and that's not to be underestimated, that's a, a, a typical uh, good golf course where the wind has a big say in what happens and it can play really tough on the top or it can play quite easy. Yorkshire has a big history of running huge events. I mean, they used to run the Yorkshire Evening News Tournament at Moortown and of course the Ryder Cup went to Moortown in the 20s uh, it then went along to Lindrick and of course it went later on to Ganton. Um, you've got a great variety of golf courses. You can play on Lynx, you can play on Parkland, Moor Moorland or Heathland. I think Yorkshire has just about everything in place to hold a major event like the Solheim Cup. It's got the accessibility with the airports. Of course Manchester's not too far away, Newcastle's only a couple of hours away and you've got local airports like Leeds and Doncaster. Um, the golf courses, I think you've got so many that could hold a Solheim and the fans, well, they're second to none. They'll, they'll look forward to coming and supporting the European team.